Welcome to Good Morning KU, first edition of the semester on Tuesday. I'm Nick Cousin. And I'm Lauren Davidson. So, Lauren, we had a great basketball game last night, and uh, our transition day was great. You know, we had five pairs double digits. Wayne Selden had a great game, 20 points. Perry Ellis, Perry Ellis had a great game, 16 points. I mean, what did you think about the game? I thought it was great. You know, a big game uh, going up against Iowa State for Big 12, not for the Big 12 title, but in a big race for the Big 12 title. I mean, title. I think they closed out the Big 12 regular season with that win last night. I think that that had to have been the biggest game of the season for KU. I don't know how you lost them the first time. I mean, we totally dominated them. Well, ultimately, I think KU went into the first game very focused, but Iowa State just outplayed them. They outran them. The transition game in the first game, Iowa State dominated. So. Yeah. Uh, so you worked the game last night, so what exactly did you do for the game? Um, I worked with Rock Chalk Video. It was a great opportunity. Um, I did utility, so not a whole lot, um, nothing major, but basically I was able to sit on the court, watch the game courtside, um, had the opportunity to just be up close and personal. That's fun. I I've done that too. You know, it's great. You know, you get media passes to the media room. You watch Bill Self's <laughs> press conference. You get you get free food. I mean, what was the food last night? Was it good? The food was Paisano's last night. It was great. It um, had really good mac and cheese, breadsticks. <laughs> yeah, sounds good. I was, at, I was at the game as a fan. You know, it's, it's a different experience. You know, it's not as serious, it's more laid back. You can cheer, do whatever you want. Because mm -hmm. when you work in the game, you, can't, you have to, like, hold back your emotions. And you can't really cheer because <laughs> you have to be, like, biased towards both sides. Exactly. You can't be on the sideline, yay, KU, hey, go KU. Yeah. So it was, it, was, it was definitely it's a better experience, you know, because Allen Fieldhouse is probably the best place to play basketball. And, I, mean, I, I wouldn't say probably. The, the, oh, it the is best, the, best the best place. I mean, on all the lists, it's number one place exactly. to play. So, I mean, it got up to 1600, uh, was it 160 decibels in there mm -hmm. last night. Was, that's, that's really loud. And, you know, I mean, it's also like with the camping and everything, it's so serious. Basketball is so taken seriously here. It's like, it's like heaven for everyone. Exactly. And, you know, when, when I work it, crew call, or when we work it, crew call is early. So we're at the game five hours before game time starts. And so it makes it for, it makes it a lot longer day than when we're fans. But, I mean, the fans have a long day too, up and down for they just all the free throws. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Um, I think one of the perks though to working is being able to see the student section and being able to see all the different things that they do. Um, my favorite is when they when the other when the other team is shooting free throws and our crowd just they do the craziest the things that you can think of. The roller coaster they jump up in the air. Like exactly. Yeah. We have Pac Man yeah. people running across <laughs> the stands. Like who has Pac Man people? No one. No uh, one. Our our fan dedication is the best I've seen out of any other school. Exactly. That's for sure. Yeah, I know that Bill Self and a lot of the players, they, attri they attribute uh, most of the wins, not most of the wins, but it's a big, it plays a big part in um, all the wins that they get. They say that the atmosphere just gives them energy and motivation uh, each and every game. And, you know, the, the players feed off that, you know, they come out to big roars, and then, you know, Bill Self waits like two or three minutes <laughs> before he comes on the court just so that he can get his own standing ovation. Yeah, standing so. ovation every game, something I would, I would never get tired of. I mean, that's why he does it. He just, he, he knows he's going to get his own standing ovation, so he waits. All, and all his coaches go out for him and everything, but he does his little, like, nose wipe thing, and he's got his little, like, <laughs> he's got his little, like, things that he does before the game. But, I mean, it's, it's, it's nerves, but, I mean, he closes it out. He's a great coach, you know. He's only had nine losses there at Allen Fieldhouse, so that's a great home, home court advantage for the team. Exactly. That's one thing that the Iowa State coach mentioned last night. Um, he said that Allen Fieldhouse has got to be one of the toughest places to get a win that he's ever coached at. So I think that says a lot. I mean, yeah, and, and it was hard for us to win at their place, too, so, and they're undefeated at home, too. So, I mean, home field advantage anywhere is, is the best advantage you can have. So. Exactly. All right, well, we're going to take it to break. When we come back, I'll be with Ben, who's from the track team.
Welcome to Good Morning KU. I'm back here with Ben Burstead from the track team. So, how, how's your season going so far? Um, it's been going really well. Um, this past cross country season wrapped up uh, pretty well. We have a pretty young team this year, but uh, we did what we could. We got one guy to the national meet, uh, Jacob Morgan, who is a transfer from Colorado State. Um, he is a junior now, so he's been killing it and doing really well. And our team did not have the exact outcome we wanted for this cross season, but like I said, we're pretty young, so we're, we're working with it. So on track, you're a distance guy, so what, am, yeah. so what, what do you run exactly? Um, well, this upcoming spring season, I'll be running the 5K and the 3K steeplechase. So the steeplechase is a race where you have, it's a typical distance race, but you have two barriers where you have to jump over it, and one of those barriers has a water pit. So it's a lot different from a regular distance race that you might see. So it's really hard, but it should be a pretty good challenge. So I think everybody wants to know how being an athlete at KU is, so how is that? Yeah, um, well, when I was a senior in high school and I came on my visit here, um, I had really no idea what it was going to be about, um, but they showed me around and I just could not wait to become a part of the KU team and um, so once I committed I had a bunch of expectations as to what it would be like but once you get here it's a lot different. Um, it's tons and tons of fun. You get a lot of benefits and it's, it's great um, but it's, you got to learn time management. It's really really important for that um, to be set in stone once you get here with managing you know school which obviously takes priorities over everything and also trying to be a division one athlete which is also a very very hard thing to do so you got to be on top of everything you're doing but you know you got to try and mix in some social time as well in order to keep yourself sane so uh, so you guys have a new facility rock chalk park we do yeah do you like that place is oh nice? i love it yeah um obviously we haven't had any meets there i mean well we had one meet there last spring but that was the only one we've ever had um but this year we're gonna have a few meets there including the uh, KU Relays, which is obviously one of the biggest meets of the year for us. And um, this, yeah, the facility is ridiculously nice. Um, the locker rooms, it's insane, the stuff that they put in there for us. We have another weight room inside of the facilities on top of the one that we already have here on campus. Mm -hmm. So what they give us is crazy, and just the field in general and the track, it's really nice material. It's perfect for any athlete, whether you're a distance or a sprinter. Or, um, a jumper, we have great stuff for them as well, so it's it's a great setup. So you mentioned the, the relays, so yep. for your upcoming meets for the spring season, what should we expect from you guys? Um, well, the goal is to get to nationals, not just with individuals, but for a whole team. Um, that would be great. We don't know what we want as a whole team at nationals yet. You know, the goal is just to get there first, and then we'll be talking about what we need to be doing. Um, but, you know, we have, based off of our indoor season so far that we've been uh, rolling with the past few weeks, we've been doing really well as a team, and it's given us some pretty high expectations going into the spring season. All right, well, thank you, Ben. When we come back from the break, we'll have the news. Hi, I'm Jack Graham. And I'm Haley McGavick. This is your Tuesday Good Morning KU News Update. The New England Patriots had, had to save their celebration of the Super Bowl because of massive amounts of snow. According to USA Today, 34.1 inches of snow fell in Boston within just seven days, making this the snowiest week since 1891. The Patriots parade was delayed because of another 6 to 12 inches predicted, but is scheduled to take place on Wednesday at 11 a.m. With the football season wrapped up, everyone is now getting excited for the baseball season. The Kansas City Royals aired their 2015 season slogan of Forever Royal in a commercial Super Bowl during Fox 4 KC reports that the Royals will be heading to Arizona for spring training on February 25th. Lawrence welcomed Canadian author Margaret Atwood last night at the Union Ballroom. Over 1,100 people showed up for a talk on her book titled The Edible Women. The book is about feminism, civil rights, and environmentalism. The Lawrence Public Library has planned many related events throughout the month. The City of Lawrence announced a new finance director yesterday. According to the Lawrence Journal World, Brian Kidney will be replacing Ed Mullins after 23 years of service. State Senator David Haley has reintroduced his bill to legalize medical marijuana in the state of Kansas. According to the UDK, Haley first brought up the bill in 2010. 
At that time, only nine states had laws allowing some type of medical marijuana, and that number has now grown to 23. And just in case you missed it, the men's basketball team thumped Iowa State last night to avenge their only conference loss this season. The Jayhawks beat the Cyclones 89-76. KU is now 7-1 in the Big 12 and travels to Oklahoma State on Saturday for a matchup with the Cowboys. Most students watched last night's game, but for those who were in Allen Fieldhouse, the reward is well earned. After a long, frigid day of camping, it was well worth it for an intense win from the Jayhawks last night against the Cyclones. Students form teams of up to 30 people and wake up for lottery that is designated on a certain day and takes place at 6 in the morning. They go to the lottery and receive a group number that will indicate when they get into the game for the best seat. Team members switch places with one another throughout the days, making sure that they never miss a roll call so that they can keep their same number for the best seat. Some sleep, do homework, catch up on Twitter, and more. Sophomore Sarah Maynor tells us about her camping usually experience. Do my homework and just usually sleep if I get an early shift or sleep if I get an afternoon shift as well. After a win like last night, the camping and pizza that Bill self purchased for everyone was well worth the wait. And that will wrap it up for today's show. Thank you for watching and have a great day.